Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce uh, you to our course, Business 370 Online in International Business. For those of you who may have looked at an introduction to this course uh, previously, uh, this is a revised introduction uh, because uh, a review of the course contents uh, revealed that there just was not enough time uh, to do a project, an international project uh, that uh, would be uh, uh, summarized by you in a report at the end of the course. Uh, that project will be replaced by a final exam on one uh, single company, Deere and Company, sometimes called John Deere. Uh, and uh, at the uh, beginning of the uh, Moodle shell and at the very end, uh, you will find a uh, PowerPoint file with slides about uh, the, the John Deere uh, company and case. Uh, I've posted it at the beginning of the course uh, so that you can sort of track along uh, as we go through the course and ask yourself questions about how principles of each chapter apply uh, to John Deere. And uh, from time to time, I'll make mention of those things. But in our very last week, uh, in the seventh week, we'll go over that case in detail uh, and talk about uh, principles of international management that seem to apply uh, to John Deere. And we'll also uh, use uh, some uh, analytic models uh, that you will find described about halfway through the course when we're talking about international strategy. So with that, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, open a PowerPoint file and just run through the course uh, as it is structured now. It's pretty much the same as uh, the original version, uh, but we just don't have that uh, great big report uh, to do at the end of the course. Uh, which will probably be uh, a major relief to several of you who don't like to write reports. Uh, so let's see if we can just bring this thing up here. Uh, I'm always a little worried when I have to bring these slides up in Zoom because uh, they don't, Zoom always doesn't uh, cooperate with me. But okay, here we go. Uh, the, we're using a large textbook. It's got 17 chapters. Uh, the good news is that these chapters are uh, not terribly long. Uh, there's quite a lot of material in between each chapter, uh, including some excellent uh, closing cases. And in uh, each week, I, I'll be asking you to uh, to uh, answer some questions about one of those closing cases in order to make the principles and the chapters uh, uh, come to life a little bit more by seeing how they apply to companies in the real world. Uh, so uh, uh, the, we can uh, divide those chapters into groups of five uh, or so. Uh, the first group is about the nature of international business and includes uh, the sorts of things you would think, the rising trend toward globalism, culture, uh, some issues about uh, governance and sustainability. Chapter five is very important. It's about the various ways that we try to understand international trade uh, through theories that have been uh, put forth uh, over the years. The second uh, group of chapters is about the external environment, uh, political, uh, the way governments intervene in international trade, uh, the difference between uh, established uh, or mature markets, uh, <laughs> emerging markets, 
and those that haven't begun to emerge yet, the undeveloped markets. So uh, the, ch the chapter's uh, title focuses on emerging markets because that's where new markets and new uh, international trade opportunities arise. Um, also in this group are uh, of chapters is a discussion of uh, monetary and financial markets and the international monetary and financial systems. Uh, so uh, you're getting a real, uh, real good basis on uh, uh, factors outside the company that can influence the multinational firm's performance potential. So we move on. Uh, there are a couple of chapters that deal sort of with uh, international strategy. Uh, frankly, chapter 11 uh, deals with strategy uh, models uh, in a very brief way, uh, and then talks about the organization structure required to implement those models. So it's a pretty thin chapter on strategy models. And for that reason, uh, after chapter uh, 12, I guess, after we've done these two chapters, uh, I've inserted uh, a supplemental uh, video and PowerPoint about uh, multinational strategy models, which you may be able to use when you move out of uh, the university and into a corporation that uh, has international uh, business, whether it's purchasing or uh, selling or perhaps as international subsidiaries, but to the extent that a firm has international trade, uh, you will find these supplemental models. Uh, the, the, the title of the, uh, the item that I've inserted is called uh, analytic models, uh, but it's, uh, it's all about uh, how we uh, analyze and understand the external environment and the, its relationship to internal capabilities. And then finally, uh, how we form strategy uh, to reconcile internal capabilities to the external environment. Uh, and again, I, I hope you find it useful, but uh, the purpose of uh, that supplemental material is to make up for uh, what I view to be uh, somewhat of a deficiency in this area. Um, the, uh, uh, the next section is about uh, the, what it takes to implement strategy. Um, and uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, topics about exporting uh, foreign direct investment, collaboration, which is very important these days, alliances, joint ventures, and so forth licensing, franchising, and then uh, how we manage this stuff through accounting, financial management, marketing, and HR. Uh, so this chapter or this textbook is uh, very, 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 very thorough. And um, you will, having uh, gone through it, you will have a good, solid, basic understanding of international business and uh, what, it, what the various elements are and what you have to do to participate in the international functions of an enterprise that uh, you go to work in. Um, uh, near the end of the course, uh, well, at the middle of the course, we'll have this um, discussion of analytic models and then somewhere along the lines, probably at the end of the course, we'll talk about the impacts of uh, the coronavirus on international trade. Um, I know that you are all well aware of uh, COVID and the pandemic, um, and you're probably pretty uh, uh, aware of uh, the potential impacts of COVID on international trade, but we'll try to put some specifics to those uh, issues uh, in that discussion. So. Uh, that you are uh, uh, more immediately and completely aware of uh, the impacts. So with that, uh, this is the textbook that we'll be using. Uh, we start right away. So if you don't have the textbook, you should get it. 
Uh, you can get it from our bookstore. You can get it uh, from some um, some uh, uh, online booksellers. Uh, but uh, however you do, uh, get hold of this textbook uh, just as promptly as, as possible if you haven't already done so. Um, the course is laid out uh, then to include uh, quizzes for chapters as well as uh, so those supplemental lectures, and I guess there are two of them, so I'll put an S there. Uh, there are three tests as well as a final exam. The final exam uh, is going to be based on the John Deere case that I mentioned um, and how the uh, principles and the chapters apply to that case. Uh, the, um, uh, at the end of every chapter, there are these uh, closing cases, and I think there, uh, there are three or four, um, maybe even five, but uh, many cases at the, is what I call them, but these closing cases at the end of each chapter, uh, there are several questions uh, asked and uh, I have asked you to answer one of those questions um, at the end of each case. Uh, not, a, not a heavy burden, but uh, it's important for you to consider the application of principles to uh, the way business actually is conducted. And that's what the purpose of uh, those quizzes, uh, I've indicated essays, uh, and they are in fact uh, essay questions. Uh, so here's how your grade will be calculated. Uh, the quizzes are quizzes on chapters um, and those supplemental items, uh, give or take, I think there are 20 of them um, and the quizzes are worth 20%. Uh, there are three tests where each worth 15%, so 45% for in total. The mini cases uh, are 20%. And the final exam on the Deer case is 15%. So um, a little uh, uh, just reminder of what's in the Moodle shell. Uh, the syllabus is there. If you want to know my background and why I'm qualified to teach this course, you can uh, read about me uh, in the uh, uh, Moodle shell also. Uh, there's a very complete schedule of what's going on every week. Uh, as well as links to chapter reviews. And there's a PowerPoint for each chapter so you can uh, take notes uh, uh, as you uh, read the chapter if you are inclined to do so. Um, and as I mentioned, there are some supplemental items such as the discussion of COVID impacts. Uh, the tests are online. You uh, open them up, take them. Uh, they're usually true, false, and multiple choice. And there's an uplink portal uh, for the mini case uh, essays as well. So um, you look at that Moodle shell uh, frequently because sometimes uh, due to weather or due to uh, events that happen such as uh, when we had to shut down the university for a while when uh, the uh, number of uh, uh, COVID uh, cases grew to be so high, uh, changes do occur. And the, your smart move is to take a look at that Moodle shell uh, and the announcements that I try to uh, put in the shell and send to you uh, whenever things do change. But it will all be in that Moodle shell, so that's the place to check. Well, uh, with that, uh, you, I've completed or we've completed this little review of what's in the course. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, more importantly, whether you enjoy it or not, uh, I hope that it enables you to be more effective when you go to work for a company uh, that does business internationally because that's what the purpose of the course is. It's to make you more capable, more, more knowledgeable, more skillful in international business. And so uh, I certainly hope that uh, this course helps uh, you to accomplish those objectives. And with that, 
I think it's probably time to say goodbye um, and uh, uh, hope that you uh, that you have a, uh, a good time in this course and benefit from it. Goodbye.